Emily, it's like World Cup Eve, it's quite exciting this, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think um, we're really ready to get going now. You know, it's been a long time coming um, and we've done a lot of talking about the, the World Cup and, and a lot of events building up to it. So the, the fact that it's finally here is, is really exciting and we're, and we're ready to go. Yeah, all that build up to the World Cup and then the men kicked off and then for you guys, two more weeks of waiting. How's that been? Yeah, I think, you know, when the men kicked off, um, we really felt ready at that point, you know, and for us to start as well. So um, this last two weeks has probably dragged a little bit, but um, just really excited to, to get into camp with the girls now and, and to have our first game on Tuesday. So, yeah, really looking forward to that and, and ready to get going. I'm sure it never gets boring representing your country, but to do it in a World Cup at home, is this going to be kind of career highlight territory for you? Definitely. I think this is, you know, such a special uh, World Cup to be a part of and to, to captain the side is such an honour for myself. Um, so, yeah, I think this is definitely um, potential to be a career highlight. Obviously, we want to win that trophy and, and lift that trophy and that, that's the ultimate goal. I think that it doesn't get better than that. You know, to do that on home soil would be the ultimate dream. So, um, yeah, that's something we've been really working hard towards and hopefully we can put that into, into action now. No, the, the standard has risen so much since the last World Cup. You open up against kind of the big unknown quantity, I guess, in yeah. terms of Brazil. But every one of these games, you must be preparing for it to be test match standard football. Definitely, I think you know we've got to take every um, game as it comes, and and we want to we want to win every game. You know, in the group stages, and we we want to get to that semi final, and we want to feel comfortable and confident in that um, position. But yeah, every game is going to be a huge challenge. It's international rugby, and we're playing against the best in the world. So it's going to be really tough. It's going to be physical, but it's going to be such an exciting tournament for people to watch and and to people to, for come and experience. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and can't wait to get going. How much of a benefit is it coming into this tournament having just played in probably the most competitive Betfred Women's Super League season we've ever seen with obviously yourselves, Leeds yeah. and York all picking up one trophy each? Yeah. I think that's huge for the sport. I think the domestic game has grown so much in the last couple of years and, and having that last year, like you say, the competitive nature of every game um, has put us in such a good position going into this World Cup. We've seen a lot of incredible players um, really own the, the Women's Super League and they've got a position in this team now um, and they're not people that you're competing against, they're your teammates and I think that's really exciting for everybody involved um, and, and you know fills us with a lot of confidence looking around the changing room. Has there ever been a time in your kind of period as an England player where the talent pool underneath the squad has been so good and has pushed your standards up the way it has? No, I don't think it's, we've never been in such a great position um, and I think every year it's got to improve, you know, the amount of young girls that have taken up the sport now and the amount of talented young girls as well is absolutely incredible. Um, so I think, you know, in five, ten years time, the standard of the game is going to be absolutely incredible. But for right now, you know, it's, it's the best it's ever been um, and that's massively exciting to be a part of that. Uh, the opener against Brazil is set to be the, the biggest crowd for a women's rugby league game in this hemisphere. Yeah. Obviously every game on TV, we've got that final in the distance at Old Trafford. If I had to kind of explain this to, I don't know, 13 year old you when you first started playing rugby league, that this is what was in the future, would you have believed me? No, definitely not. Not the, the position that the sport was in probably when I was a teenager, but I think now that it's such a, an exciting prospect, you know, this game has grown so much and it's going to continue to grow and the opportunities that it's given myself and my teammates is unbelievable, you know. It's it's really exciting that this World Cup is, you know, really about equality, the men's, the women, the wheelchair all being in line with each other. I think that's something that we probably didn't envision um, five, ten years ago. Um, so that's that's going to be great for the game and hopefully we can inspire another generation of younger players to, to take up the sport and be involved in it as well. Kind of regardless of what happens in the next month or so, how important is it that we follow this up with regular internationals, regular test matches and those being across the world? I think that's definitely got to happen. I think for us as players, um, we've got to see that growth in the international game. We have never played Australia outside of a World Cup and I think that's so difficult to compete with the world's best when you are only playing them every four years. You know, it's got to be more regular. We've got to see, more, like you say, more test matches for women. The likes um, of going to Papua New Guinea in 2019, that was incredible for the game. Then obviously we had the postponement, but we've got to keep that momentum going after this World Cup um, and, and see more you know international games for the women to, to grow the, the game and, and to get better and, and to compete at the top level. 
I've just said similar to Craig, but we're very good in this country of kind of talking rugby league down compared to the NRL and the NRLW. But we're going to see a number of these England players yourself included, really put their hands up as actually, we're pretty good at Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that um, people will be surprised actually that how well we can compete with the world's best. I think some people have probably already handed the trophy back to Australia already, um, thinking that their you know their domestic game puts them at, at such a, an advantage coming into this tournament. But actually I think we're in such a good place at the minute and I think some of the athletes that we've got in our team are incredible and are the world's best in their position. And I, th I really hope that they get the opportunity to show that in the in the tournament. And in the process, you're going to be inspiring the next generation of girls who hopefully be winning the World Cup in 16, however many years time. Definitely, definitely, and that that is so good that that is um, achievable now. Young girls can watch us and know that actually that's a potential opportunity for them in five, ten years time. They can be themselves putting on an England shirt, representing the country, it being live on TV, and thousands of people coming to watch her. How exciting is that? That's something that I never imagined as a kid, but now younger girls can see that happening and can say that that's a goal that I want to achieve in the future. Uh, just lastly, what do you think that feeling is going to be on opening day, leading your country out at Home World Cup? I think just honestly, so much pride and so much um, excitement around actually getting to that point. It's been such a long time um, coming and we've you know talked about it so much and we've worked so hard to get to that point. I think hopefully it'll all just come together and be, you know, ultimately just unbelievable experience. Well, best of luck and enjoy it. Brilliant. Thank you.